Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about the 10 books that I've checked out on Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> I haven't done one of these videos before, but I honestly think it is so much fun. I'm going to be talking about the 10 books that I have checked out on Kindle Unlimited currently. I am very excited to read all of these, and hopefully you will too after you learn about what I picked. If so, if you didn't know what Kindle Unlimited is, Kindle Unlimited is a package kind of with Amazon evolving ebooks, so you can check out 10 ebooks at a time off of Kindle Unlimited from their very wide selection off of their app. I love this service. Um, I'm probably going to keep it for a very long time. Um, it just, I feel like is great, but you need to read enough books in the month to get your um, money's worth, I guess, because it's around maybe $10 a month to check out these books every single month. So I'm going to tell you about the books I have checked out today. First, I have Fallback Skyward by Autumn Gray. This is a romance book. I believe all of them are romance books. So I'm mainly going to be reading the summaries for you because I don't know anything about these books mainly. Um, I just heard that they're really good or the cover really caught my eye or one of my friends talked about it. So this one was a recommendation from Brie from In Eleven Words. She absolutely loves Autumn Grey and loves this book specifically. 11 years ago, I saved her. I loved her, but they took me away from her and locked me up. For two years, all I could think about was her. She consumed me, took up every room in my head and gave me something to focus on, knowing I would see her soon. Nine years ago, I watched her as she walked down the aisle and into the arms of a man who wasn't me, my brother. I left my home and never looked back. Now I'm staring at seven letters, each envelope stamped with one word in bold, red ink, urgent. I have no choice but to go back home. Seeing her will be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But in order to reconcile with my past, I have to face my present. Even if the thought of seeing her, knowing that she is out of my reach, kills me. I have no idea what awaits me, but I can only hope that the demons of my past will finally be buried and put to rest. It also says there are many um, trigger warnings in the summary. So um, if you are wanting to know about trigger warnings, go check that out. I've heard from Brie that this book is just an emotional gut punch and she loves it so much and raves about it, so I have to read it. So that's why I checked it out. I'm very much looking forward to this one. Next is a book that I've been reading for a while. I uh, started it a couple weeks ago and then put it down and I just haven't picked it up yet, but I still do want to read it. It is an alien romance called Hearts Prisoner by Olivia Riley. He is not like anything Lana has ever encountered. Asset X, massive deadly, a little terrifying to say the least. A devilish warrior and a killer captured on a hellish world after attacking a military campsite now imprisoned in a state-of-the-art cell in one of the military's top bases, bases <laughs> uh, Lazarus, and Lana has been assigned to study him, to learn his secrets and gain his trust if he is ever allowed to set one foot out of his cell. As a top behaviorist, it is the biggest hurdle of her career. Asset X, or Exorus as he is called, won't give up his secrets easily. He's difficult, elusive, and dare she say, unfathomable, unfa I can't ever say that word, unfathomably <laughs> alluring, despite his seething, denimer, and hard, frightening physique. Something subconsciously draws her into him, something wildly irresistible, even if his wicked smile and needful gaze could just be a ploy to win her trust and escape his cell. She couldn't think of him like that. He is an alien after all, and possibly their enemy. For Exorus claims he's on a mission, a mission to destroy, and he cannot afford to fail. If he dares let Lana close, dares open his cold heart to her, she could compromise everything. One of my lovely, lovely followers on Instagram reached out to me and recommended this book to me. So I'm very much looking forward to finishing this one. I'm probably going to restart it and uh, continue on with the book. I believe I was reading it when I was in school doing a big project. And so I put it off to the side and just haven't picked it up since, but I'm still very much looking forward to it. Y'all know I love alien romances, so. Very excited. She was raving about this one. So next I have Taming His Teacher, an older woman, younger man, student teacher romance by Tamsin Parker. This was a recommendation from my lovely friend Jen from the Book Refuge. She absolutely loves this book, so I definitely had to check it out. Erin, I'm back at Hawthorne Hill, the only place I've ever really called home. Is it weird that it's an all boys boarding school and I'm only four years older than some of my students? Yes. And what makes it worse is Zach Shepard. He's my student, but he's also my biggest crush. To let anything happen with him would be career suicide, but to stay away from him would shatter my heart. Shep. Three years after I graduated, I'm back on the hill, this time as a member of the faculty. Some things have changed, but I still think 
Erin Brewster is the prettiest woman I've ever seen. I want to be with her more than anything and I've picked up a trick or two while I've been gone. Maybe with my new skills, I'll have Erin begging to be held after class. This one just sounds so much fun. Jen raves about it. She loves this romance book, so so excited for this one. Next, I have Rescued by the Buccaneer by Normandy Alman. Ailman? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. So this one is about Frederica and um, she boards the ship for the Americas in 1665. She gets attacked by pirates and they kidnap her. And then when she is on that pirate ship that she's captured on, they find a man floating in the sea and Frederica ends up tending to his wounds and learns that his name is Gaston and he is a survivor of a shipwreck. And Gaston seeks to help her overthrow the vile captain on this pirate ship. As the naive girl and seasoned sailor navigate one perilous situation after another, he informs Federica that the only way they can survive is if he is in command. And if she thinks things can be otherwise, she will be taken over his knee for spanking. <laughs> um, as he watches the proud wolf of Frederica bow to his authority, however, Gaston worries that her growing hold on his heart will be his downfall. He knows he can not take a woman with him when he returns to his ship and crew but when Federica accepts his lustful dominance completely submitting to him with grace and beauty no other woman could match Gaston realizes that he may never be able to let her go so this one is kind of like a historical one a wrapped up with some pirates best believe I'm excited for this pirates are one of the best things you can read in a romance book, if done correctly. Then I downloaded Tarnished Empire, a standalone enemies to lovers billionaire romance by Ava Harrison. My plan was simple, get invited onto his yacht, find information to destroy him. But I wasn't prepared for a lark prince, dangerous and seductive. He trapped me in his gilded cage. He calls me Dove, easily preyed on, easily broken. A man that ruthlessly only wants to crush me. I must resist the temptation to let him. He's my father's enemy, at war with my family, a danger to me. Falling for him would be my demise. But if my plan works, it will be his. I was very intrigued by the cover <laughs> at first. As you can see, I haven't read a lot of billionaire romances, so I'm trying to get into that little subgenre. Hopefully this one is really, really, really great. The summary sounds very intriguing to me. Next, I have Fragile Longing by Cora Riley. This is an arranged marriage age gap romance. And Sophia knows what it feels like to be a consolation prize. Too young, not blonde, and definitely not a nice princess. Her sister is, was. All those things. Perfection, until she wasn't, until she ran off with the enemy and left her fiance behind. Now Sophia is given to Denalio in her sister's stead, knowing she'll never be more than second best. Yet she can't stop longing for the love of the man she's been crushing on, even when he was still her sister's. Denalio is a man who's used to getting what he wants, power, respect, the sought after ice princess until another man steals his bride to be. Denalio knows that for a man in his position, losing his woman can lead to a loss of face, wounded pride, thirst for revenge, a dangerous combination. One Danielo can't leave behind, not even when a girl just as precious takes her sister's place to placate him. Yet she's got one flaw, she's not her sister. Unable to forget what he's lost, Daniello might lose what he's been given. I've only read Sweet Temptations by Cora Riley, and that book is absolutely amazing. I love that one. It's an arranged marriage age gap one, and it was amazing. So this is another age gap one by her. This might be a part of that like spinoff series to one of her other mafia books. Now the summary doesn't say that it's a mafia book, but I can only assume that it is because that's what Cora Riley is known for. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to this. I loved Sweet Temptation, so can't wait to read this one. I believe this is her newest book that she's released. Next I have Faking Under the Mistletoe by Ashley Shepard. This was a recommendation from my lovely friend Jen from Jen's Bookshelf. She read this last Christmas and she's been dying for me and Ashley to read it ever since she read it last Christmas. So the cover is amazing. She said it's amazing, so can't wait to read it. Olivia Langley is the human embodiment of Christmas cheer and she has absolutely no problem spreading it around her for all to hear. Christmas sweaters, she has 20. Christmas cookies, she'll take three dozen. Christmas movies, yeah, she's seen them all. So it's no surprise when she's put in charge of Lover Ridge and McGowan holidays festivities. Secret Santas, yep. Ice skating, of course. Holiday trivia, duh. Dismas themed bar crawl, 
That's one big jingle bell hell yes. Kissing her boss at a Christmas tree lighting in front of his ex-girlfriend? Well, it is the season of giving. And Olivia does not come with a gift receipt. No exchanges, no returns, no refunds. All sales are final. In an effort to ungrinch the grinchiest man she's ever met, Olivia enlists herself, Santa's executive helper, to scheme up a plan that includes sleigh rides, snow days, and one too many mistletoe kisses, which certainly gets Asher's tinsel in a tangle. She's pretty sure that she's slayed this whole fake relationship thing. Well, until she realizes there is nothing fake about her feelings for Asher and suddenly tangled tinsel, unsolicited Christmas trees and celebrity heartthrobs are the least of her worries. So this is a fake relationship romance. I love fake relationship romances. And Jen just absolutely raves about this one and it sounds so cute and so much fun. So I can't wait to read it. Of course, I have another alien romance on this list. We have Glacier, an alien warrior romance by Miranda Bridges and Kyra Snow. He is ice cold, both his personality and his skin. When his icy gaze lands on me, it freezes me temporarily, but the first time he touches me, sparks fly. Not the romantic kind. The tattoos on his pale skin illuminate and they are brighter than the northern lights. And then something in his eyes changes, making him less callous, less cold and making me hot. He says he needs me for something important, something monumental, but I'm not easily swayed, even if he's gorgeous and I do need his help. I guess we'll see if I can melt his heart before he chills me to the point of no return. So it looks like this romance, alien romance, has something to do with him being possibly of like a cold alien race or like a freezing alien race. I've never read something like that before, so you bet your bottom dollar I was very intrigued by this one. Next I have Nanny and the Beast, a billionaire mom Mafia Romance by Georgia Lacare Yuri. A year ago, Yulia, my niece, lost both her parents. Two months ago, she completely stopped speaking. Her psychiatrist thought a gentler presence around my house might be good for her. She suggested a nanny for the child. Naturally, I would do anything that would help her regain her happy childhood. But I didn't expect the woman who stepped into my office. Yeah, she's caught my attention, all right, but all for the wrong reasons. I sure as hell don't need this ripe fruit to distract me all day and night in my own home. I tell her she hasn't got the job and watch her leave my study, but fate has other plans. Resistance is futile. April. He lives in a white mansion in London's Knightsbridge. A magnet for playboys and Russian billionaires. Big, burly bodyguards look at me as if I've not come for a job interview but to steal the family silver. Whatever. I maintain my professionalism. I'm determined to get this intriguing job of caring for the girl who refuses to speak. A prim woman leads me to his study. She knocks and a deep, smooth voice beckons me to answer. The door opens and I set eyes on Yuri Volkanov. OMG. His eyes are like wolves, pitless, mesmerizing, dangerous. Obviously he has dropped dead wrong, but I can't help imagining his big tanned hands caressing every inch of me. After the briefest interview in the history of interviews, he informs me I haven't got the job. As I walk away humiliated from his study, it happens the unthinkable, and I'm suddenly back in the game. There's a saying though, be careful what you wish for. I love nanny romances. I haven't read a lot of mafia ones incorporating nannies, but I love mafia books and I love nanny romances, so put them together and hopefully this is going to be amazing. And lastly, I have A Touch of Darkness, a Hades and Persephone retelling by Scarlett St. Clair. I actually got this recommendation off of TikTok. <laughs> I don't remember what video it was, but they were talking about these books as being very spicy and very steamy and an amazing uh, paranormal or fantasy-esque romance. Persephone is the goddess of spring by title only. The truth is, since she was a little girl, flowers have shriveled at her touch. After moving to New Athens, she hopes to lead an unassuming life disguised as a mortal journalist. Hades, god of death, has built a gambling empire in the mortal world and his favorite bets are rumored to be impossible. After a chance encounter with Hades, Persephone finds herself in a contract with the god of death and the terms are impossible. Persephone must create life in the underworld or lose her freedom forever. The bet does more than expose Persephone's failure as a goddess, however, as she struggles to sow the seeds of her freedom, love for the god of death grows and it's forbidden. I love Hades and Persephone retellings. I haven't read a lot in my life, um, but I love the aspect of Hades and Persephone coming together. And I feel like this book is just gonna be 
fantastic. So there you have it. Those are the 10 books that I have checked out currently on Kindle Unlimited. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!